People manage or look after rivers for many reasons, such as ensuring there's enough water in the channel for human use and to prevent damage to people's property due to flooding. This video shows the River Severn in Dudley. This river will flood if more water enters the river channel than it can carry away to the sea. This could occur following a storm, for example. Now, here is, here's an image showing houses that have been built right next to the River Severn. It seems as if they wouldn't flood. It's about five metres from the river level up to this pavement, and then the houses have been built even higher still. If you look at this image, um, this shows the height that flood water has got to um, during previous floods. So in November 2000, um, the floodwaters came up to this height and these houses uh, would have been flooded with water if there weren't river defences put in. Now, how can we prevent flooding? The first method is to make sure the river channel can hold enough water by making it larger. So what we, can we do? We can make the river channel deeper. You can get a boat called a dredger and you can dredge or remove this material from the bottom of the river channel. Why? Well, that makes the river um, able to hold more water. Its carrying capacity is greater and so it's less likely to flood. Now, what do we do with this material that we've taken out of the bottom of the river? Well, we can put it beside the river here as a river bank called a levee. Another way of um, preventing river flooding is to put a flood wall to the side of the river as well. Why are we doing these things? It means the river can hold more water. If the river's water increases, it can come all the way up to this level um, before you would get a flood. So we're making the river channel larger so it can hold more water and is less likely to flood. Another way we can prevent flooding is by um, planting trees. Trees branches intercept rainwater and store it on top of the tree rather than it falling down onto the ground where it can run off into rivers causing floods. Trees roots also absorb water and this will remove water that could cause potential floods. Now, as well as trees, there are other ways to reduce the amount of water um, in the river channel. And I'd like to go through these now. The first way to reduce the amount of water in the river channel is to allow flooding in upstream areas where it doesn't really matter. If flooding is allowed in upstream areas, it's taking water out of the channel so that downstream areas are less likely to get floods. Another way to reduce the amount of water in the river channel is by building a dam. A dam is a concrete barrier that stretches across a river. Water is stored in a lake behind the dam and then we can allow as much water as we wish to travel down the river afterwards. So let's just have a look at this a bit more clearly. Here is our dam, our concrete barrier. Here is the lake that has built up behind the dam. We can allow as much water as we wish to come out of the dam and then flow downstream. So let's imagine we knew there was going to be a period of very, very heavy rain high up in the mountain, mountains and the upstream part um, of the river. What we'd probably do is let water out of the lake so that the storms would just fill up the water within this lake and then we could have a nice controlled amount of water that would be let out going down the river um, and then we humans would have stopped floods from occurring. Here is a summary of what we've looked at. So how can we prevent flooding? We could make the channel deeper, we could raise the level of the channel so it can hold more water. Alternatively, we could plant trees, build dams and allow flooding in upstream areas to reduce the amount of water in the river channel.